As far as this department goes, I think it really breeds artists. Like how to be a performer, how to create art, and how to be art on stage. The audition process uh, incorporated a class, a ballet class and a modern class. It was interesting because it was uh, a modern class and ballet, which I wasn't very familiar with, but because I have such a passion for movement and I really understand inertia and just kind of how my body works, it was, I was excited to know that I was going to be taught what I was trying to do. We came out here and auditioned and we couldn't find a better place. And I remember the day of the audition feeling very welcomed by the faculty. Well, there are a lot of them watching the audition. It made me nervous, but it was better that way because there, there were more perspectives. They wanted students that were a work in progress, that they didn't expect that you knew everything already. Well, I'd slowly but surely weaved my way into the department. You know, I started taking a couple classes here and there, and a revelation within my spirit, so to speak, was like, just go for it. You know, you have a passion for it, so just, just move forward in your passion. And I just fully immersed myself and just fell in love with it. And once you get on the stage just once, you really you can't escape it. So my name is Caitlin Muse. I'm originally from a little German town right outside of San Antonio, Texas, and lived there for 12 years and then came out here for school. Depending on who your teacher is, it can get pretty scary. There's so many different types of techniques and types of teachers, and they're all really demanding, but in different ways. So they're really gonna push you from semester to semester. My name is Ebony Jones. Um, I'm from Modesto, California. I definitely am a modern girl, so any of the modern classes have been favorites of mine. West African dance classes, that's like my heart. And um, Latin jazz was a lot of fun too. My name is Katherine Schaefer Ostrout. I um, originally am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've lived in Southern California most of my life. All the teachers are encouraging us to be that super dancer that can do ballet, that can do modern jazz. There's all kinds of classes here. I'm planning on taking flamenco next semester. Yeah, I'm Sam Pro Percy, and I'm originally from San Jose. Came here to Long Beach and discovered the new world of modern. and and ballet as a good uh, foundation. My name is Dana Finley, um, and I actually was a graduate student here at the dance department, Cal State Long Beach, the past three years. I felt mentored, but allowed to have my own voice. And um, for me, creating three different pieces that were very different from each other, and having amazing facilities, faculty, costume design, uh, Liz is amazing and Andy with the lighting and the technical side um, and Eric for the music really kind of created such a professional environment and the opportunity to do really anything that I wanted to do. Our facilities are phenomenal. They're, um, we have three um, studios on the bottom floor that are all Marley um, with two-story ceilings so you really you have modern class in there and you you don't feel, you know, you dance in a small studio and you feel cramped. You don't feel like you can expand and really extend your limbs. When you're in the studio, there's no limit. And upstairs we have three more studios, hardwood floors, where one of them we have our tap classes and more of our comp classes. We have the student lounge here. We can rest here. There's couches. There's always people napping. And this is our own space. The teachers don't come in here, so we can hang out with our friends. The dance department really focuses on more than just taking classes. There's a whole other side of wellness for your body and understanding the way the body works and how to train and how to recover from injury. Not only do we have facilities like the Pilates lab, but we also have a wellness center that's run by an athletic trainer. His goal is that you come in to prevent injury, so he's open for you to work out and grow stronger. He'll help you build a program. But then also, if you are injured, you have somewhere to go for rehab and treatment. The Wellness Center is, I don't know if there's another place like it in the country.
there are different concerts, three different concerts. There's the contemporary, the faculty, and the MFA concert. That's the master's um, students, the candidates. And um, for the faculty and for the MFA concert, you have to audition like you would to enter the program. When it really gets hairy is right up till the showtime because about two weeks before the show starts, you'll be in the theater pretty much every single night doing tech rehearsals and doing lighting rehearsals. So before the show actually starts, you probably have four or five full rehearsals on stage. So they make sure that you are ready. I mean, there's no room for slip ups. The crew has practiced, you have practiced. It, they never let you go out on stage not prepared. The most recent piece that I did was this last semester in the Contemporary Concert, and it was titled Ibuki. I truly and thoroughly enjoyed this piece. And this piece is about breath of life, you know what I mean? And you can apply it to your spirit. And I'm a very spiritual person, so I immediately connected to the concept. And so the piece for me was beyond fulfilling because I was dancing with dancers who just love the art of dance. You know, they're not so consumed in the image and looking great. You know, let's just explore this art and not just physically, but with our spirit and see where we soar. I'm Cyrus Parker Jeanette and I'm chair of the Department of Dance at Cal State University Long Beach. We're very proud of our alumni. They're doing all sorts of things. We have some dancers doing Broadway touring productions. In fact, one of our recently graduated students is now the dance captain for Wicked, the touring production. We have a couple of students performing with Cirque du Soleil, many, many teachers, and actually students dancing all over the country in companies. Um, our undergraduate program is by audition only, and the students who come here auditioning must be pretty capable already. And the audition itself, um, though we try to create a supportive and inviting environment, um, is inherently competitive. I really believe that the versatile and well-educated dancer is much more apt to be the employable dancer. First meeting the faculty, you just really get this impression that they really, really know what they're doing. Because I've been to auditions before where they'll have somebody teach where you, you just don't feel the authority, and really here you can feel their experience and them passing it on to you, and you just feel like you're in really good hands. It's not only um, the technique and the level of academia, but it's also the compassion with the professors. As a graduate student, you really, they're not too busy. They're not too busy. They've always been so inspiring. They make me want to do everything. And uh, it's this kind of great little community where um, there's little time and we all work and we all, um, and we all dance and we all have school, um, but we all find time to rehearse for each other's works. You're going to be living here in the studios, <laughs> so you might as well make friends, make it your home, because you're going to, this is, this is your community. This is your family. And I feel like Long Beach is my family. 